What's up YouTube? Figure I'd show you guys this project that I got started on. I bought this car for parts. Casey had wrecked hers. I was going to fix it, but hers was already a salvage title. Hers is like bent off on this whole corner and needed a hood and stuff. And but our insurance underwriter said no no more full coverage on that car since it had already been pulled from a deer hit once before. So I found a really really bad deer hit. And I would say it's definitely a deer hit because you can see the hair in it. it. Copart listed this as it runs and drives. This is the first time they've just bold-faced lied. And I guess it does run and drive probably, but I, I didn't start the engine. I'm going to make sure there's no plastic in the valve runners and stuff before I start it. But anyway, so this car is the one I'm going to fix because <coughs> Casey's car had about 150000 And this car had... This car is 55 or 56. That car right there had less than 60, but it's totaled way too bad to uh, to do anything with. But so I'm gonna take the passenger doors off of Casey's because the they evidently hit that with the loader at the yard, and the uh, all of this front stuff, all the AC condenser and all that stuff is good on this one. So we'll take the intake the all these those parts off of this one today and i'm going to get enough of the stuff onto this car to make it run and drive so that i can pull it outside and then once i get this car running and driving i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna be pulling off panels i've got some new uh fenders for one of these cars right here because the fenders are, are shot on this blue one anyways so i uh i'm gonna put the i'm gonna get doors the fenders and the hood and the doors i'll get it all stripped off the other car painted edged on the inside the right color and then i'll reassemble this car but for today my first goal is get this car to uh run and drive and then as soon as it runs and drives i'll spend the rest of the day stripping off all the parts that need to be painted to get back on here so obviously the elephant in the room is this one has the the dash airbag out and it has a spot across the top of the dash you can see that x pattern it's actually just like a half triangle stop sign thing right now but uh that ripped when that airbag blew so in order to do that job which i've already started on because i know it's going to be a huge job but i'm going to get it running and driving and make sure it's all perfect first this is how far apart the uh interior has to come and you'll have to pardon how disgusting the cars are you know when these things get wrecked they just throw four dry in the interior but that's how much of the inside has to come out in order to fix that airbag but luckily for me the curtain airbags didn't blow so so we like this this damage the windshield the airbags and the passenger door and we have all those parts and then we're gonna have us a nice 2017 mazda 6 uh i don't know if this is a touring or a sport but really nice and it's and it's the this car has the all the high-end trim stuff on it the infotainment and all that stuff in there but anyways so that's my plan and i'll probably take if i if the seat plugs are the same i'm going to get rid of these stupid leather seats because i hate leather seats and we'll put in these uh these nice cloth seats that came in the other car as long as they're long as they can be because these are full these these are actually full manual seats too so i don't know what difference the plug not being plugged in would make we'll just have to see because they the even the full manual seats had a plug in them so anyways that's my project that's what i'm going to be working on so i guess i'll i could bring you guys back for updates or i could bring you guys back and show you the car when it's fixed you guys let me know in the comments what you uh think i should do anyways peace out